Hi, Chris Shank here with Case IH to talk about the uh, removal and install of the load cell on the Case IH 2000 series row unit. We already removed our seed meter and our speed tube or seed tube through the center row unit. What we want to pay attention to now is the way the harness is routed through the retaining clip here as well as how the fertilizer line is routed in relation to our uh, pneumatic closing system. Okay. We're going to remove our poly strip here, the retaining clip. We're going to remove the T handle. We're going to remove the pivot pin down here. And then we're going to slide the whole unit out the front with the harness disconnected as well. Tools required for that are going to be a pliers and a snap ring pliers. Now let's remove the uh, load cell. So now we got our load cell linkage out. We want to take a look at the inspection areas on it. So we'd be looking at the overall harness for any, any damage to that, crimps, rubbing, things of that nature. We'd want to look at the terminals on the load cell itself for any rubbing or corrosion, uh, any, other, any other damage, that type of thing. The reason we'd be in here to look at the overall load cell is on our display when we're looking at delta force or pneumatic uh, down pressure. Our load cell is not maintaining within 20 pounds of zero with the row unit up. Okay, so we'd go through the easy steps in the monitor, zero out all the load cells, and and monitor it while we go through the field. If we're still having the issue, we would come back, inspect all those areas on the uh, load cell, and then replace it. So by replacing it, we're going to go through, count the turns as we unscrew the, the uh, end piece here. That way when we put it back together, we can put it in the same number of turns and our linkage is still zeroed out in relation to the row unit. Okay, so we count our turns here, where we remove our pin here, and then we put our new one in and our count our turns back in. So now we're going to take our new load cell on the linkage and reinstall it into the backbone of the planter row unit. So we're going to slide it in from the front, watching our harness connection as we slide through. Finish moving our linkage all the way to the rear. Get it hooked on our pivot. Install our pin. Take our snap ring and put that back on. Install our T-handle. Watch our routing of our harness on the side here. And the routing of our air lines and fertilizer line. Take our harness, route it back through. Connect it back up. So now we're going to go through, put our seed tube in or speed tube, and install our meter back on top, connect up our harnesses. Then we move into the cab. We go through, zero out all, all of our load cells, and we're ready to go back to planting. So now that we have our load cell installed, another thing that we need to consider is uh, not having a, a component to replace a failed load cell. In that instance, what we would do 
is come through and disconnect our plug for our load cell and leave that here. The planner then would recognize that this row unit does not have a load cell, therefore it would look at the rest of the planner row unit and see the high row applied force and apply 80% of that value to this row so you could continue planting until you get a new load cell to install. For more information on load cell replacement, please contact your Case IH dealer.